first half, it seemed like you had her struggling to get a rhythm going. Was, was there, what was going on there? Was there something they were doing that was surprising? Or? Not surprising. That's just a really, really good defense. Uh, you know, the best one we've played all year. Their secondary is, is great. Their rush is great. Their linebackers play fast and physical. So uh, we knew there was going to be that kind of game. Obviously, would have liked to to move the ball a little better in the first half, but um, we made plays when we needed to. I know maybe you get spoiled scoring 30 a couple weeks in a row and things like that, but do you get concerned about offensive clunkiness a couple weeks in a row at all? Or well, we we scored over 30 and we lost, and now we've won two in a row. So no, I'm not I'm not concerned about that. Do you think you guys were playing more complimentary football, Joe? Is that the point? Yeah, I would say that. Um, you know, we our defense really stepped up the last two weeks. You know, big special teams touchdown today. Uh, so it's nice to see uh, that the other units are picking up the slack where where others are aren't. Um, and that's what that's what football is all about. So you know, we found ways to win the last two weeks. How many did you uh, did you chip more? Well, 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 uh, we made plays, guys making plays. We had a big run to, to start off the first one. Um, and then Jamar made a, a big time play, just catching a go ball in the red zone. Uh, and then T catching one on third down and breaking a tackle and going making a play. That's what you got to do against these guys. They make it tough. You know, their secondary is going to be in phase. So you, you just got to go make contested catches, break tackles, and, and make plays. That's what we did in the third quarter. Did you chip more when Orlando went out? Did you, did you chip more over there? Were you more aware over there? What was going on? Um, whenever you got 95 over there, you're going to chip no matter who you have at, at left tackle. Uh, I thought Cody did really well when he went in there. Joe, the touchdown to Jamar seemed like it really turned the game around for you guys offensively. How many times did you say you and Jamar have reps that specific play? We've thrown go balls for, for years. so. Uh, we were on the same page as, you know, it was a big time play by him. When Chase broke out for those 22 yards, how important was that for you as a quarterback to see Chase in the running game find a great one and maybe keep them more honest? Yeah, that was big. That was big. You know, we had one in the first half, ended up getting called back. Um, and so that, that slowed that drive down. But it, it was nice to break one. You know, that's what, that's what the run game is. It's going to be tough against these guys. Uh, but you got to stick with it because because their rush is so good. And then you'll have a couple like that that just pop. Um, so that was a big one. The check down was a special, divisional win, especially on the road in Cleveland. How important is that as you guys start to build full as a team? Yeah, big win. Big win. Um, you know, it's just one. We're three and four now. So so we got to come back next week and get another one. For where you're going to end up going, how big is it to win the way the way y'all do? Uh, maybe if it wasn't for just to get them. Yeah, NFL is just about finding ways to win. Uh, today we did. What did the best team say about this team? The fact that you guys are able to win on the road and grind it out that game. Yeah, we, that's, what, that's what you got to do. Great teams find ways to win. Um, you know, I think we have a chance to be a great team. We're not that yet. Uh, but there's a lot of season left to play. Uh, so we'll come back, learn from learn from today, and, and come back on Wednesday. Is this the most optimistic you've felt about the goal? That's the long term outlook for y'all. Yeah, I would say I would say I'm pretty op optimistic about how how our team is playing right now. You know, the last two weeks have been big for our defense, getting healthy, making plays, causing turnovers. Uh, that's what that's what our defense is all about, getting ru rushing the passer. So uh, that was big. The check down to Zach uh, came right after the run to Chase. I mean, I'd seen the real rush too. Uh, that check down looked like you kind of waited a little bit. Until yeah, last yeah, that's. Uh, you know, those guys have been big in those spots. You know, Zach continues to do that. You know, I, I feel confident in, in his ability to, to break a tackle and get you a couple more, keep you on track. Um, so he played well today. The series coming after the turnover, after Sam's pick, um, the third down, like it went to the run there. Were you thinking field goal range, or what was the, the how's that play? Yeah, I mean, it was five man box, two safeties high. It looked like they were going to double Jamar. Um, Needed only a couple yards to, to get into field goal range there. Um, you know, we'll talk about that with the coaches and, and see what you know, maybe would have been better to get to. Or, um, but you know, I felt good about that. Kitchens and Mac both said that last week some of the issues you guys had offensively were procedural before the snap, things that you guys could control. What did you feel like in the first half was kind of the story of why you guys weren't able to operate at the level that you usually are? We just didn't make any plays. That's, uh, that's what you have to do against these guys. They're going to be in phase. 
Uh, they're going to stop the run. They're going to rush the passer. And their their secondary is going to be all around the ball. Uh, so you just have to. It's going to. There's going to be some 50-50 balls. You're going to. They're going to grab you and hold you. You got to be physical at the top of the route. Uh, got to be accurate with the ball. And you know we just we just didn't do that in the first half. And the second half we did. Joe, I know the defense has improved, but on the offensive side of the ball, what's the biggest difference between this team now and how you all started the season? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure there is. We we played two really good defense defenses back to back weeks. Uh, good fronts, good secondary, good coaching, uh, and so we, we found ways to win. You know, I don't really. Everybody's talking about how good our offense was for the first four weeks, whatever it was, and we were one and three. Um, so that's. Obviously not ideal. I'd rather be everyone talking about how we didn't execute it on offense and win two games in a row than, than the other way around. Does it mean does it mean the extra free or one here? You know, out No. No. I mean you won an AFC North game the way I guess it's supposed to be won. Special teams, defense, clutch of offensive plays, I mean that has to taste pretty good. Out. Yeah. You just gotta find ways to win in, in this league. It's not always gonna be pretty. Uh, we did today. I don't think any. When I see anybody go down. It's it's always tough. We know everybody's out there putting their bodies on the line, uh, for for their families, for themselves, for the fans. Uh, so whenever you see somebody go down, it's tough. Whether it's your guy, the other guy, quarterback, D line, uh, it doesn't matter. It's always tough. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I thought our defense gave us our chance. You know, it's obviously Charlie and the kickoff return team set the tone right from the get-go, which was which was great to be able to get that lead. And then defense really fought them off. You know, until that that last drive, obviously where they got those points, but gave us a chance to kind of get it sorted out on offense a little bit, find the two drives where we could really get points on the board. Um, it's a good football team. They they make things hard. Their defense is is you know one of the best in the league and. And uh, so fortunate the way that our defense allowed us to play there in the second half and break that dam open on offense at the end. What were the biggest things you needed to sort through offensively? What were those things? Well, I mean, they've got a lot of personnel things you got to be worried about and just getting some momentum. And so that, that's always a tough defense when, when you go a couple drives and you're not getting momentum. They're getting a lot of momentum and they feed off of that. And obviously we're similar on offense if we can get some momentum going. So it's just, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's, no, there's nothing you can put your finger on that was specific. Uh, a couple times we were just one block away in the run game. We had some runs that maybe were zero, one, two, where we were just one block away. And um, we saw last week where all of a sudden that could just break free and break open for you. And we just um, got a little bit of that, but not enough. Back, how important was it to stop them fourth and two, their first drive in the third quarter? It's huge. The it was huge. It, it was appropriate for our defense to get that first opportunity in the second half to really set the tone uh, for the team because they've done such a great job in the first half for us. So, so to get that turnover on downs, um, and allow the offense to come respond, and then and then you get a chance to kind of okay, here we go, let's let's get moving a little bit, and so that was good complimentary football there to start the half. Is it a positive sign that Orlando Brown was able to be on the sideline and walk off on his own? Yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll get more information on that, but um, I, I'd certainly say it was more towards the positive side that he was able to be out there. You know, how did you count to his uh, his loss? Uh, you know, he was obviously on the arrow. Yeah. How did you count to that? I thought I, I I thought Cody did a good job, and stepped in there. You know, and other guys rallied around as well, and uh, they moved Garrett around a little bit. But I thought Cody did a good job stepping up to the challenge, and um, so again, we, we tried to help where we could. But but obviously, that's a that's a big loss and a tough challenge when you got to go in. Any update on Gino? So. Um, not yet. It, it's lower leg. Um, again, I I, I don't want to say anything. It, it's not certainly not as as bad as maybe I initially thought it was going to be. So um, there's positive there, but but we'll wait and get more information tomorrow. Yeah, there's a starter goes down. How do you think your team responded to the new guy coming in? With Orlando? Yeah, no, with the quarterback. Oh, quarterback. oh yeah. Say it again? Yeah. When, when their quarterback went okay. down, how do you think your team responded to um, you, it? I mean, we'd like to get a stop there. Obviously, they went in there and, and got the points on the board before the half. Uh, but I thought other than that, we did a good job. You know, they faced three quarterbacks. They all have their different strengths and weaknesses. And I thought our defense, obviously, over the, over the course of the day, I was proud of how they played. What did you see from Joe? Uh, great timing, great anticipation. I mean, the one was a conversion to Jamar. 
uh, that he got in the air and gave Jamar a chance to adjust to it first bump and, and Jamar did that they've got a billion reps on that um, so that obviously was a huge one to, to kind of break it open for us a little bit and then um, you know got the right coverage on the on the shot to T Joe did a great job with the ball placement T ran through it T's caught that ball in games I don't know 50 times and had similar uh, reactions like that and uh, so again two guys in the receiver room and our quarterback that provided huge sparks for us at the right moment and guys we can always count on. Zach, you guys had that stretch of 30 point games, but what's it mean to win games like you had the last couple of weeks? I mean, that's that's more what it's like in this division, you know, and so we'll, we'll just take them how we can get them. Obviously, we want to score a lot of points and there's some things that, that we can continue to improve on to do that, but um, it's just about playing good complimentary football and I thought I thought in the second half there, we did a good job of that and, and found a way to win and that's all that mattered coming out of here. Getting the division or win on the road, how important is that for the momentum this team starts it's, it's big. You know, last year obviously wasn't good enough um, to start 0-1 this year, to get back even. It, it's a positive thing for us and, and quite frankly, we haven't won here. We have a lot of good feelings standing here at this podium in this locker room and so it's nice to change that and so there, there's a lot of positive things happening right now in our locker room and and again, it's what have you done for me lately? So we got to turn around next week and have another great week and, and be ready for Philly. You didn't say I have to be three four, but it feels like a workable spot to be in going forward. It, I, I just take it one game at a time. You know, we can't we can't spend too much time reflecting on the past. Um, all we can do is is like we've been telling our guys, win one at a time, and got the Giants, got these guys, and um, now this next one's going to be a big one too. What does that say about grinding out? It tells you you're a good football team. You know, when you can find different ways, different units to lean on in different times. Uh, different guys have stepped up big time. You know, Geno gets his first pick. Sheldon gets his first sack. Sam gets his first pick. Um, Charlie with the big punt return. You know, there, there was a lot of guys that stood up. Um, kickoff return. There was a lot of guys that stood stood up in this game, and, and uh, it's good that we can count on everybody. Was there a theme that you guys saw in the first half that was leading to some of the issues you guys were having on third down? Well, again, I give a lot of credit to their defense. They're good in coverage. They're good up front. They got a great coordinator, and it creates some challenges. And some sometimes you just gotta take a deep breath and find a way to get your rhythm. And it's good when our defense can can hold down the fort and give us a chance to do that. And um, that's the way it played out for us. You're going home for two games. You're winless at home. Are you worried? We're going home for one game, and uh, Philly is all that we'll be concerned about next week. Why not? Offense, you know what you were talking about. Nice to have those plays, Digimarkey, in your back pocket that you've won, that you've run a million times and know. Yeah. Know what you're going to get. Yeah, I mean, there, there's some window dressing on some of the plays we had, but for the most part, I'd say it's it's things we've repped a lot and just finding different ways to get to it. And again, they, they they're always open to the adjustments on the sidelines if we have to do that as the game goes. And again, that's when you got really smart players and we got really smart receivers on this team. You can do a lot of everything as the game unfolds, and and uh, I thought they do a really good job adjusting to that. Did you make any adjustments in the uh, running game? Chase got a big play early in the second half. Yeah, there were some couple things we started to lean on a little bit more, you know, just scheme wise. Um, I mean, that's just how it's going to be sometimes against good defenses, where it might take two or three, um, and then and then you find the right one and you catch the right look and you can pop it, and it creates a lot of momentum for you. I thought Chase created a lot of momentum on that, and then Zach Moss on the check down created a lot of momentum on the other side. You know, and so both backs really did an excellent job stepping up there. And, and uh, I thought the lineman gave us plenty enough to win. You know, it's it's again, there's going to be some sacks that are on their resume, but um, ultimately I thought I thought that they gave us a, a performance that we can lean on to win in a game like this.